Fronus is expecting its products to have a durability of 20 years or longer. Within this period, if an error message happens, we want to help you as good as we can. Anytime you can choose to contact uh, my colleagues at the technical support. Those colleagues, they sit three, uh, three floors above and they are happy to answer your calls. Second option, you can use our Fronius Solar SOS app. A very warm welcome to this webinar today. This webinar is exactly about the Solar SOS app. I will show you what this app is capable of and why it is good advice that you are using this app instead of a phone call to our support. Why should you use our Fronius Solar SOS app? Firstly, when using the app, you don't need to contact our support. This will help you save time because uh, our hotline is mostly connected to waiting times. The Solar SOS app furthermore gives you advice on solving your, your error messages. If you're lucky, you don't need to contact our support. And thirdly, if you are using Solar SOS, you are prioritized. This means that cases in Solar SOS, they get worked on before other cases we receive on the hotline. How do you approach Solar SOS? You go on the internet and you enter solar-sos.fronius.com and then you enter this website here. You click on this red button, log in or create account. If you already have an account, you type in your email address and your password. If you don't have an account, you can register here. And this brings us to a very important point. If you are in this registration process, you will be asked about the identification of your company you're working with. Solar SOS is designed for installers and not for end customers. And we want to make sure that only installers have an account. And this is the reason why you ask for this, this company ID. So please make sure to have it by hand when you're doing this registration process. I will not go into this process for now. I think it's self-explaining and you're just following the steps. We will continue with login. And once you're logged on, you end up here. On the left hand side, in this left column, you see, you see six abilities of the website, troubleshooting cases, device data, downloads, recovery key and news. First of all, I will go with you one by one of those categories. And uh, secondly, afterwards, I will go through a service case with you. Let's start with troubleshooting, exchange or repair. What can you do here? You can enter your serial number and the state code. Then I press enter. And then first of all, you get the error message. So 107 means no AC grid is detected. And then you get several uh, suggestions for causes and for solutions. You go through the solution. If it doesn't help, you go to the next. For now, we say it helped and you click on solved and problem solved, best case. You will see this in a minute more detailed. First, let's take a look at cases. Here you find all the cases you have ever, you have ever submitted. All cases, open cases, closed ones and pending ones. This should give you an, a good overview about your cases. An advantage is that all the email communication, all the communication in general between you and us is located here. So if several of your employees are working on the same case, it cannot happen that an answer of us is uh, ending in one, in one uh, email account or another. It's all saved here together and you get a good overview. If we go into one of these cases, you see the details. What was the problem? Which device are we talking about? Um, here also the device list. You can go on messages. Here you see the email communication. You can type in a message and send us an email 
or you find also the telephone number of the installer support. And finally, you can go on delivery and on delivery, you see the status of, of orders you, you did previously. Again, I will show you this in, a, in more, more detail in a minute. Let's take a look at device data. At device data, you find, surprise, surprise, more data on the devices you're using. First of all, you can click on overview service costs. We're doing this and we get to a PDF file. And in this PDF file, you find all the costs for, for replacements and for services. So for example, here, these are the freight charges out of the Fronus Warranty Plus. Shipping costs below 30 kilogram, 21 euros. I go a bit further down and we end up in a list that is, that is ordered by product. It starts with our Fronius IG products, IG15, IG20, goes down to IG Plus, Fronius Galvo devices, and then the, the Snap Inverter devices. And for all the devices, for all the components, you find here on the, on the right hand side, the replacement costs. Let's go back to Solar SOS. What do you also find here at service data? You find a link to the installer support page. If I click here, I get to our homepage in the section service and support. Here you find information on our products. You see here, we can click on Gen24, Snap Inverters, Storage Solutions, whatever. I click on Gen24 Plus and you get more information on the device concept, system design, service process, compatible batteries or backup power possibilities. So all the information around our products. You also find here software and updates. So if you need, if your inverter is not connected to the internet and an update needs to be done, you can download it from here and then put it manually on the, on the device. You also find manuals and instructions. You find certificates and data sheets and also some further information on system design and rural electrification. So again, a lot of documents all around our products. Let's go back to Solar SOS. This was service data. Now let's go to downloads and downloads again gives you some more documents. Some documents are the same as you find on our homepage. You can select here a product group you're interested in. Let's say this is the BYD battery box. You click on BYD battery box and you find documents, you find white papers, operating instructions, references, and all in, in different languages. So again, if you are looking for any kind of information, documents to your products, um, you will find them here. Fifth section is recovery key. This is a, a, also a key ability of Solar SOS. If your customer or colleagues of you have lost their password, have forgotten their password for their devices, you can reset them here and you can give new passwords. Precondition is that you are either the owner of a system or the supervisor. Maybe you remember it if you are putting a device on solar web then first of all, you're the owner. And once the installation process is done, you are handing it over to your customer. The customer becomes the owner and you are becoming supervisor. And only if you are supervisor, then you have access to this feature. And how does it work? So you enter the device. Let's say this is a Gen24. You enter the serial number. Then you enter the account type you want to change. So let's say your customer has forgotten their pa customer password. You click here on customer and then you have to enter here a pin. And this pin you can found, it can be found when you're connected by Solar Start to the inverter. How this process exactly works, I will not show you here. 
because there is a perfect video on our YouTube channel that addresses exactly this problem. The video takes three minutes or something, so it's watched very quickly and, um, and you find all the information you need there. So recovery key, this is for resetting the password. And last but not least, let's take a look at news. What do you find at news? Again, surprise, surprise, you find what's new at Fronius. And this information can be valid. Um, imagine you have a problem and maybe it is something that has changed recently and then you find the news you need in this section. A good example is the first information you see here. So far, our installer password has been 12345678 for all devices. And this is changing now. And now every product, every device gets an individual password. And this individual password is printed on the, on the right-hand side uh, of, the, of the inverter. So this could be a good information that is solving your problem. Finally, let's go through an, a service process. We get back to troubleshooting. And again, we are entering the serial number and the state code. Press enter. Again, we get suggestions for solutions. We are trying solution number one. It doesn't work. We go to solution suggestion number two again it doesn't work and we end up at solution number four and the last solution replace the device how to replace a device you click here request exchange or repair and then you get to this page here and you see you have three options component exchange device repair or device exchange. In component exchange, you can exchange individual components. So for example, a smart meter or something. You're entering here the amount of, of those components you need and then you click on continue. Device repair means that the faulty device is sent to us. We are repairing it, are sending it back to you and you are again installing it at your customer's place. What we um, what was the device before? Uh, the advice before was exchanging the whole device, and this is what we are going to do now. You type in the serial number, you type in the state code. You can add other state codes if you received several. Please also include a failure description. The more detailed this description is, the better it is and the better our support can help you. And then you can add other files. Here a good advice is to send us photos, especially if the error is obvious. If you have a, a burned components, for example, then please take a photo of them and send it to us. Once you have done this, you click on continue. You enter the delivery address, that's straightforward. Again, continue, you get the order summary, you accept the terms and conditions and you accept the service guidelines and click send order. Case is successfully created and forwarded to Fronius. In a few minutes, you will be able to view and edit the case under my cases. Perfect, this is what we're going to do. You see the case already popped up, it's here in open cases listed, we can click on this case. As you was shown before, you see here again the details, you see the description, the original no description, uh, and you see what, what device we're talking about. You can click on messages, there you find the email communication with us, or you can contact our support via phone. And then you see information on the delivery. Order number one, you see here the status, you see the, the component that you requested and um, where this component is at the moment. Let me sum up this, what I have shown you in this webinar. So first of all, it is a good idea to use our Solar SOS app. You do not have to call our support and this might, um, might save you some minutes. 
you would otherwise spend in the waiting line. Secondly, you get presented some solutions and maybe you don't even need to contact our support. You just you, uh, use the suggestions you get in the app. And thirdly, your cases are prioritized if you are using the Solar SOS app. Once you're in the app, you have several options. You can do troubleshooting, you see your cases, you see all the email communication together in, in one place. You find variable documents and data sheets either on our homepage or in the sections uh, device data and downloads. You can pick up news and finally you can reset passwords if necessary. As always, the recording of this video will be sent to you in the next days. As always, if you like this webinar, please visit our YouTube channel. There you find other video videos such as this how-to video on uh, replacing the password. Last but not least, if you're interested in live trainings, in face-to-face -face trainings, you're very welcome to come to Wales. I'm happy to welcome you here. And then we can talk a whole day about um, backup solutions, for example. I hope you enjoyed this webinar. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.